Hey, good morning, Facebook. This is Eric with Simple Cooking with Eric. Uh, this is Eric Brown, and I said we're going live, and we're going to make the sweet potato cheesecake. Now, listen, I told you yesterday, I told you the ingredients that you were going to need. And what you need, what I have here, I have three eight-ounce uh, packages of cream cheese softened. I have my three cups of granulated sugar. I have my uh, pure vanilla extract. I have four eggs in here, and I have two eggs in here. I have my graham cracker uh, shell. I got two of those. I have my cup of flour. I have my two medium uh, sweet potatoes diced and smashed, and I have my nutmeg. So how are you all doing today? Listen, it was such a great response from the peanut butter cookies, I decided to go live again. And next week I'm going to go live, I'm going to create a a, a healthy uh, dish for diabetics. And it was, uh, one of the uh, comments came on, can I create uh, a healthy dessert, uh, dessert for diabetics? So I will be doing something next week live on Facebook. But it's so good to see you all and hope you all enjoy this um, as we make this cheesecake together. So if you have any questions, comment, be free to uh, leave or talk back to me. I'm going to do my best. I'm a little nervous, you know, doing it live, but I'm going to do what I do. I think I do better live than I do filming the video. But listen, let's get started. I know it's Saturday and people want to get about their day. And let me eat the first thing. Once we create this cheesecake, you once you bake it, you have to... Put it in the freezer and let it freeze overnight. Or you even put it in the refrigerator overnight. But you want to, to chill. I'm telling you, it is a delicious cheesecake. Now, what separates this cheesecake from everybody else? The difference is, is that we got to make two different mixes. First, we're going to do the, um, the sweet potato pie. Now everybody make their sweet potato pie different. So whatever way you make your sweet potato pie, that's what I want you to do. When you're doing this cheesecake, make your sweet potato batter the way you make it. I'm going to make mine the way I make it. And then, then next, you have to make the cheesecake batter also. And once you make the two different batter, I mean everything that you the stuff that you go through to make your cheesecake and your sweet potato pie. Then you have to fold the ingredients together. That is the key. It's not us taking some, making a cheesecake and then adding some smashed sweet potato. Or it's not us making a sweet potato batter then just throwing in some cream cheese. You got to make the two different batters separate. Let me get our butter out also. And then I also don't forget you need a cup and a half of butter. So the first thing we're going to do, let's do our uh, sweet potato pie mix first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove a cup of sugar from my three cups of sugar, and that's going in for the cheesecake. That's the one. So the rest of the sugar is going to go into, and I know you say, oh, that's a lot of sugar. Yes, it is a lot, but trust me on that. And I'm also going to remove a tablespoon of the flour and put it in the cheesecake. And the rest of the flour is going to go into the sugar. Now, the reason why I mix the flour and sugar together because it won't be lumpy. You won't have those lump pockets, lump like flour lumps or anything lumpy in your sweet potato pie mix. So I'm going to whisk that together. As you all can see. How are you all doing today? You know it's hot out there, but I'm telling you, you can make this today. And then you can serve it tomorrow for dinner, after dinner for dessert. So now, I added that into the sweet potato mix. And next, I'm going to add my two uh, uh, teaspoons of nutmeg. One, two. And then I'm going to add my Two teaspoons of vanilla. Now, like I said, you can make it any way you want to make it, any kind of way you make your sweet potato pie mix. You can make it. And what we're going to do, you see, I'm going to just mix this real good with my whisk. And 
This is live, you all. You hear the baby in the background like I always told you. I'm going to change it to cooking with the babies, the grandbabies, cooking with crying babies. And you know, you can, I, you know all kind of fancy gadgets and stuff, but this we can do this stuff simple. Where everybody there. Now, I'm going to add our butter. That's a cup and a half of butter. And I'm going to whisk my eggs, four eggs, you all. And I'm going to add them. What you want to do, whisk it real good. Telling you are simple and easy. People think cooking desserts and stuff is hard, or cooking pure cooking is not hard. You just got to know a little what you're doing and, and kind of figure things out. Don't burn the stuff, don't overcook the pasta. Simple, a couple of, of things that you just got to know not to do. Now, we're going to give this a good blend. Now, hold on, you all. Let me just get from taste it. So, how are you all uh, enjoying your Saturday? Now, I thank you all for y'all support. Let me just taste it. Perfect. You don't need nothing else. It's not over season. It's not over spice, it's not, it's not over anything. So as you can see, that is our sweet potato mix. Now I'm going to set this to the side. Now we're going to work on this cheesecake real quick. Isn't it simple, you all? I'm telling you. Now, normally what I would have just rinsed these off. But since it's all got to go together, I'm just going to cream this sugar. Remember, this was three eight-ounce packets of cream cheese and one cup of sugar. And like I said, make your cheesecake the way you make it. And it was one tablespoon of flour. Make your cheesecake the way you like it. Then we're going to add in one egg at a time. The grandbaby got ice cream all over the... I'm telling you, she was sleep all morning until I started doing this. Then she wake up and get started. Now I'm going to add my last egg. Then she go. Now I'm going Let's give it a little scrape down. Let's give it a scrape now. Now look, when you do this, you can take half and make a regular cheesecake, and half and make a regular sweet potato pie, or you can use it all for a sweet potato cheesecake. Now, our cheesecake is ready, better. So now, you see, I made two different batters. Now, I'm going to take my cup, measure cup, and I'm going to put three cups of the sweet potato pie mix in here. Just three cups. Three cups. Remember that. Because you're going to have more sweet potato mix than you will of... Uh, Cheesecake. You notice how I'm just turning it forward? Hope y'all 
y'all can hear me. There she goes. She done got started. Anybody come in and take one? Now. And listen, the thing about, uh, like, see how we prepped it, like, whoever's making it with me. Now, you know, one thing I forgot in the, in the instruction, I forgot to add some vanilla to the uh, cheesecake. Did anybody catch that? Did I, I didn't add flavor. I forgot. <laughs> but it's okay. It's never too late. It's never too late. So we just gonna add a little bit more vanilla to the mix. It's not too late, folks. Just mix that on in there. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 325. And I'm gonna fill. Now. Y'all ain't doing no talking. Is anybody asking a question or anything? Anybody want to know something? Ask me of anything. No. I'm going to ask some questions. Okay. <laughs> well, Vanessa said, can that one be hers? She'll pay for it. <laughs> it's, a per it's a perfect, perfect batter, you all. And then all you're going to do, all you do, it feel now, so you got. If you did it kind of like I just did it, you you have enough filling for maybe three cheesecakes. I'm gonna pop this one in the oven, you all, and let it bake for about. Let it bake. It should the oven should have been preheated, but we're gonna let it bake for about twenty five minutes. And then we're gonna check it. Any um, listen. Don't remember um to go to the YouTube channel, please. So views, share, like, and most of all, subscribe. And also, when you see that little bell, the little bell, uh, click on that bell also, cause then. You'll be notified every time I put up a new video. I just put a couple of new videos up. I, I did a turkey beef, a turkey patty this morning and some uh, pastry crust. And yet last night I did um, some uh, country fried steak. So check those out. Listen. If anything you want to see me do live and prepare live on Facebook, just leave me some comments. Man, I appreciate the love that people are showing, and I, I'm trying to make this channel go viral, and not go viral for my benefit, but to go viral so that I can be a blessing to others that are a little less fortunate than me. You know, I do a lot of cooking, as you all, some of you all might know and don't know. I was um like 450 plus pounds a couple of years ago. So I don't eat all of this stuff. I can't eat it. Um, so I had weight loss surgery. I'm, I'm losing more and more weight. So I can't eat all of this, but I want to be a blessing to people that are less fortunate than me. So um, Thanksgiving, I'm doing the Thanksgiving um, movement and, and I'm going to keep pushing it. And as you will see on Facebook, every second I'm pushing, pushing, pushing for people to like, share, and subscribe to the channel because I, I want to do this movement where five families selected by you, Facebook Live, and we're going to do everything live. Five families, up to 20 people per family, be selected where they will get their Thanksgiving dinner catered by me and some friends. Um, 
you subscribe and share and like so that I can reach my goal by November the 1st. So we're going to, uh, cheesecakes are in the oven and we're going to see what happens. Questions? Once again, I'm, I'm, I'm hurrying because um, as I shared in there, I'm, I'm going to try to go by a uh, pastor friend of mine, Michael Robinson of the Promised Land Church located on 119th in Chicago. He's having a his annual barbecue that he does every year where he reach out to the community. So I'm going to go by there and just show my support and love and let them know to keep him encouraged. You know, you know, there's a lot of people doing some good things in the world, in the community. And a lot of times, the blacks, you know, if you're not a well-known minister or preacher, you don't get the recognition that you deserve. And so a lot of times, people don't um, give them the recognition. So I just want to send that shout-out to him and his wife, Chelsea Robinson, who, who is an attorney that just had, did a lot of pro bono work for people and stuff. Just some nice people. So... I just want to encourage them live. Uh, and if you have an opportunity, go back to 119. I think it's 119 there, low, between Low and Wallace. Yes, what you say, Juanita? They got questions. Yes, what's the question? Uh, Sharon Denise Hudson said, can you show us how to make dressing? Yes. Uh, Sharon, I would definitely share it. Just keep watching. I would do it live. And maybe in a couple of weeks, I would go live and do dressing. Dressing is my favorite side dish. I kid you not. Anybody that knows that dressing, I love dressing. And a lot of people say I make a good dressing, you know, but I ain't going to toot my own horn. But I will definitely show you how to make it, trust me. So just keep watching. Keep watching. Do you want me to do it live or, or just do a tutorial on, on YouTube? Um, Zambora Boss said, do you freeze leftover sweet potato mixture or... And use it for uh, future pies, or do you just make... No, make you can freeze it. Put it in an airtight container or a Ziploc bag. Yes, you can freeze it. And it, and it, it will freeze up to six months. Yes, it will. So you can... Uh, sweet potato mix, Perry, or sweet potato cheesecake, yes. And just let it thaw out room temperature. And, and, and when it thaws out, put it back in the bowl and give it a good mix, whisk, a good whisk or with the mixture, and then be just like no. And then Erica Williams said, do you give cooking lessons? Yes. On YouTube. Oh, Erica, all you got to do is call me and come to my house. And you could be on YouTube with me and I'll give you a lesson on cooking. Some lessons. Wherever. You know, I'm open, people. You know, I believe that you have to share the gift and the talent. When God gives us gifts and talents, I believe that you have to share them. Vanessa said, can she have that path? Chevrolet, I'll see her tomorrow at church. <laughs> Chevrolet, all you got to do is get some subscribers. Like, share, subscribe, and be. The more and more. See me tomorrow, Vanessa. You might have a pan. I might have a pan tote. Any more questions? <laughs> so what? I'm going to do a diabetic dessert next week live. But if, if anything else, so Sharon, I will do dressing for you maybe one day next week or in a week or two. But just keep uh, checking out my Facebook page and checking out YouTube, and I'll let you know. But I definitely will do that. What's somebody saying? <laughs> Vanetta said, oh, yeah. <laughs> they told me, get off the tool. <laughs> Sharon said, thank you. So she welcome. And Erica. And see, and see, uh, you all, now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make a couple of sweet potato pies with that. Maybe not today, but maybe um, tomorrow. Make some sweet potato pies with that. And then I got enough for one more uh, pie with this. And also remember, listen, you do not got to shop at Jewels and all that and buy Keebler, Graham Cracker, Crust. People don't let nobody for it. All tastes the same. This is all these eighty nine cent. You know how much the Keebler and the Bisco crackers cost? Like one sixty nine to two nineteen for one shirt. This is eighty nine cent. This is cheaper than the dollar store. The dollar store is our dollar. 
89 cents. You do not have to go and buy the most expensive ingredient. I use all these sales butter the cheapest in anywhere. Sometimes you can catch butter on sale, but when it's on sale, I might buy 60 pounds. So whatever my money allow me to buy because butter is so expensive. But I believe if you're gonna cook and bake, cook with real ingredient butter, uh beats margin any day for baking. So remember, and then what if you if you're a cake baker? I did. A, I got a, a video on how to make cake flour. It does work on how to make cake flour. And I'm going to do a video also on all, how to make your own vanilla extract. You'll be surprised how expensive pure vanilla extract is. So I'm going to do a video on that also. Any more questions? So we just wait. I, I was trying to hold on and wait so you all can see the finished product. We can't cut it though. We we can't cut it until because it has to settle and be chilled. Where is my glasses? How did you all like the peanut butter uh uh live thing? Man, we got about twenty minutes on all. How did you all like the peanut butter? This this soon heat. More question, mm -hmm. They just look at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look away. But I make a mistake. Now I ain't gonna make. Well, I make mistakes. See you all. I got three. Now I'm gonna ask you all a question. Is is anyone making this along with me, or are all you all just watching? Say it was a good show. Oh, thank you, Sharon. So I think I got a new fan. Tell Sharon she live in the Chicago land area. Sharon, can you hear me? If you live in the Chicago land area, I invite you to my home to do a, a, a cooking uh, video with me. I can show you some same with you, Erica. <laughs> she said, "Watching for now." Okay. She said yes. I, I, I want it to be real, unedited, and and where people, you know, like I said, I got all the kitchen gadgets. I always invest in kitchen gadgets and, 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 and tools because um, cooking is my passion. And, and I was able to make somewhat of a living off of it. Um, but I always invested. But, you know, you have to show people things with what's in your average kitchen. I could have pulled out... All type of fancy gadget, but I want to show you all uh, the real virgin. And hold on, let me show you all something. What I'm going to do? So, what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to make sweet potato pies with the rest, but what I want to do, I want to bake the, the pie shell, I want to bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes before I put the custard in, and that's something that I learned, because a lot of times, we'll put the um, custard in these frozen raw pie shells, and you, anybody remember coming up, or sometimes, that the pie looks so good enough, but when you cut it, the bottom be kind of raw, so... Pre-bake these a little before I put the custard. So I'm going to bake um, some sweet potato pies um, with that. Is that? Uh, let me ask Erica. Erica, is that Erica Williams Stella granddaughter? Oh, okay, Erica. Thanks for watching. Well, then I can kind of say a little about Erica family. You know. As you will see in some of the um, in some of my videos on YouTube already, hey Erica, this is for you to tell your family. I talk a lot about working in the Queen of Sea and the things that I learned in the Queen of Sea from working down there with Erica's grandmother Stella. 
Smith, the late Stella Smith, was like an aunt to me, and I had picked up, I was 16 years old when I started working down there. It was a coin to see on 47, right off of Indiana. And I worked down there, man, I picked up so many skills and things, as far as cooking soul food and cooking in uh, big quantities. So a lot of that, and Eric, I talk about a lot of in some of my first videos, I kind of talk a little about the Queen of Sea. I learned how to make bread pudding. I learned how to make yeast rolls down. I learned how to make gravy, soup, all gumbo. That's why I learned all those skills at down at the Queen of Sea on 47, right off Indiana. So, you know, up to Stella and the Queen of the Sea, because it, it, it opened a lot of doors for me, even just learning those soul food skills. So we waiting on our uh, pie. Also, I want you all to know that on my video yesterday I did, I talked about my friend Diane Barkley in Knoxville, Tennessee, who kind of had a little misfortune in her home, but she's doing well and everything is working out for her, for her best. I spoke with Diane today. So I want to send a shout out to my sister Diane Barkley, who when I first met her like 20, almost 30 years ago, I was a stranger, and she took me in her home and her family, and took me like a brother, and we've been friends ever since. So Diane, and anybody watching from Knoxville, Tennessee, I know Diane is at work, so she might be sleeping. But don't get fired trying to watch me. But I want to send some love out to Diane today, and and let her know that I'm still praying for her. And then also, uh. Like I say, uh, another friend of mine told me about the bell on, I didn't even know about the bell, that people that subscribe to my channel, that you'll hear, if you click on the bell, every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. And then, uh, I want to forgive my, he's like a brother, cousin, uh, some of you all might know him, the man, one of the greatest singers I ever heard on earth. Brother Richard Rogers, who has put my YouTube channel together and has helped me up to this point, helping me get it in order. So I thank you, Richard, man. And Stephanie, I don't know if you listen to Stephanie Camille. I still need you. That's Stephanie Jenkins, so who's major in uh, media and all that. So hopefully me and Stephanie will get together soon where she can help me kind of critique and even make the channel even better. So I'm, I'm open for suggestions. Uh, Critique, just be nice. Don't be on there dogging me out. You know, be nice. Make your comments nice. And look, if you really got an issue with me, inbox me. <laughs> Don't blast me. I'm just playing. But uh, let's let me let's look at it and see how they're coming. Yeah, they're coming along. Ronnie Hampton said, "I remember you were baking when you Who? when we were in high school. You were older, Ronnie Hampton." Oh, hey, what's up, Ronnie? Yeah, that's uh, Ronnie. I think he living in Houston now. Man, yeah. I'm keeping you lifted up too, Ronnie, man. I have to tell Greg, man. Yeah, you remember those days, huh? I've been cooking a long time. But listen, you all, it always been a hustle. Always was a way to, to supplement my income. I talk a lot about that also, about how selling cookies and things that helped me a long way. You know, um... In a couple of weeks, I'm going to show you how to do your own wedding cake, a simple wedding cake that anybody that's viewing now can do, that you could do. You know, people, people don't have all that money no more to be uh, spending all that money on cakes. And it, it's all of us just about got it hard. You might have a good job, to, but sometimes we all fall into financial situations. So, and I ain't going to do all that preaching on here, but... You know, we all have struggles financially sometimes. So I just want to show people quick and simple ways how to make life a little easier for them. And I'm telling you, you can actually put together your own event with little cost, where it would not cost you a lot. Caterers are very expensive, I know, because I'm one, and I'm probably the cheapest one around. But catering uh, is very expensive. Putting together feeding folks is very expensive. So, you know, um, you know, it just costs a lot. So I wanted to show people how to do things simple, quick, and easy with the simplest ingredients and the simplest tool. And she done got started again.
Oh, okay, no. say hi. Huh? And she said, uh, uh, Eric. She said, seeing you cook makes me think of my grandmother. I'm getting emotional. I know. It does. It brings back, especially the sweet potato pie. And, and Erica, it was your grandmother that taught me about adding the flour and the sugar together where I wouldn't have lump. And as you all know this, I don't have lump. I didn't really have to really do much but use the bread. I don't have lumps in it. She the one taught me that. Taught me how to add the sugar and the flour together, mix it where it won't be lumpy. Y'all, this is my one of my granddaughters. This is Erica. I got a grandson named Clayton in uh, Crater in um, Arizona. I think he's about two weeks old now. I got to uh, get some things together for him. But Mariah, do your mini riveter screen. Go on. She won't do it. She did all yesterday, hollering through the house all night. She spoiled. You all might know. Say hi, you're way too. Say hi, Facebook. Say hi, Facebook. Huh? Blow him a kiss then. You dirty. Yeah, so I know you all tired of waiting. I'm trying to talk because I want you to see the finished product to see how it comes out. And then, like I said, all you have to do is um, let it uh, chill overnight. You know, now if you want to be in a hurry, you can put it in there for a couple of hours and let it cool down and then stick it in the freezer. In about three hours, it should be cold enough. But we usually keep them in the uh, freezer and just cut you a piece as you need it. But I'm telling you, very delicious. And like I said, remember the key was we made two di we made two different batters. We didn't use the same. We didn't just add mash uh, sweet potatoes to cheesecake meats, and we didn't just add cream cheese to sweet potatoes. We did two different batters, and that what gives it that bold flavor. That what makes it different than most uh, sweet potato cheesecake. And how I came up with this, it was a mistake. I think I was doing sweet potato pies and cheesecake at the same time, and I actually didn't dump the cheesecake mixture over into the sweet potato. And I'm like, and so then I just mixed it together. And that was the result, and um, the rest is history. And um, I think I was working, I took them to work to the office, and they loved it. And they were like, oh, man. And I've been doing it ever since. And when I had a restaurant, a shortly a restaurant, the sweet potato cheesecake and the peach cobbler and the butter cookies were the three biggest sellers as far as pastry. You know, it was a, a full bakery and a soul food restaurant. And um, so that's how I came up with this cheesecake. Go get me a possible. Go get your possible. They got a little crowd you are. She's something else. Yeah. What are you looking at? I'm gonna give you all about. Uh, yeah, put it, I'm gonna give it you all maybe about another five minutes that we're gonna take it out. And I'm gonna show you because you don't want it to start getting brown. You want it to stay smooth and clear. Listen, you all, check out. These are some. Um, I, I got this idea off of the Jamaican beef patties. Uh, um, so I did some turkey patties. And these, I made these, I did a, a video on these this morning. So check it out. It'll be on YouTube maybe uh, in a couple of hours this afternoon. But look at that. And um, just to show you all, and when you break it, and see the mixture. So you go on YouTube and learn how to make this. It's very good. And like I was telling them on, on the video, you can make that with leftover turkey after the holiday. Instead of always making soup and stuff, you can make this with leftover turkey and dress it. And you can stuff these with, with any pastry crust. And you can stuff these and bake them. I'm telling you, they are delicious. So I just guess I'll point that out for you what I did this morning. Question.
questions. So grandbaby, you all see she 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 is hollering and cutting up. Um I'm just see. So remember y'all, this helped this help me go viral. I ain't even got to go viral. This helped me get some subscribers and likes on the channel. And uh I really um want to be a blessing to another family, to five family. And I'm gonna keep it real with you all. And some of y'all that really know me and that interact with me regular now will tell you regardless whether I reach that goal or not, I'm still going to have Facebook to choose five families. And I want to make sure that their Thanksgiving dinner is catered for all the trimmings, everything. They will get all everything, desserts and all, for up to 20 people. And we're going to cook like we will cook for our own self. Turkey, ham, dressing, macaroni, sweet potatoes, greens, string beans, peach cobbler, sweet potato pies, pound cake, potato salad. So, I just need your support and, and helping us make sure that, that that go through. She going upstairs now, y'all. Thank the Lord. Going upstairs. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Mariah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, regardless, and I'm going to start the, the search in September where I'm going to ask you all to help me find five families within the Chicagoland area and Northwest Indiana. So, like, Gary, Highland, uh, Hammond, all the way to Orland Park and Richland Park and the West Side. You know, five families that you think that are less fortunate than you are. And if you're a family that is, is a little short during the holiday, just let us know. And I don't know how we're going to select, but I'm, we're going to select live. I don't know if I'm going to have people to email me some background of the families, whatever, but we want to be a blessing. This year, we let's be a blessing to somebody. And let me tell you something, with that government in power today that we have in office, we don't know what the next move is going to be, so we got to try to do the best we can right now. So we want to just learn to be a blessing to others. I'm going to, hold on, you. I'm going to go take these out. My camera girl left. Now, as you all can see, see how they look and see how firm it is. They ready and see how they, they started browning a little around the side. See how they form they look. Now once they um so once they cool down, I will put them in the freezer or refrigerator. But look at them, don't they look nice? You all and look how firm they are. And they're gonna settle a little. Once they settle, they're gonna shrink a little. But that's how they should be. You don't want them to start getting brown all over. You want to be able to see some of the, the uh, softness in them. And I tell you, people, all you got to do is follow the instructions, the recipe, you have the recipe, and try them. Please try them. And, and if you try them, please leave me some uh, comments at uh, Simple Cooking with Eric at gmail.com and let me know how the chores uh, turn out. And then if you get ready to make them and you have a question, email me, leave a comment, and I will definitely get back to you all and let you all know um, if you have any questions about it. So remember to like, share, subscribe, view to the view a lot, view a lot. I'm currently at like 1,800 views on my channel, and that's good for in two weeks and just starting the channel. Honey, the channel only been up for two weeks, so I'm at 1,800, uh, but I only have 52 subscribers. You got to subscribe, and you got to view, and you got to tell me what you want, you know. But let's make this thing happen. Any questions, you was grinning. Somebody else. Diane. Diane. <laughs> Diane Barkley. <laughs> or she heard Or my good friend, sister Diane. I'm so glad you're watching. So remember, like, share, subscribe, continue to view, continue to support, and listen. Get together, get together. We I'm not asking for no donations for Thanksgiving. All I'm asking for your support on the channel, and I'm asking that you know if you know any family that 
and the need that can benefit for the uh, Thanksgiving dinner, uh, let me know. Let a boy know. Let a brother know. You know. Let me know, and we're gonna make it happen. Love you all. Thank you all for viewing, taking the time out your busy Saturday to view this, and I appreciate it. And love, peace, and I'm out. Thank you.